Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm here to show you this really cool technique and I, I kind of call it conditioning your embossing folder. The reason why is let me show you this card. This card I received from a trade from Natalie Travis and I loved how it gave the depth of the color in the embossing folder and I was like trying to recreate this and it wasn't working and so this is what was happening I went ahead and put the color on the embossing folder itself and it was getting these little dots all over the embossing folder and I'm like okay that's not working I just didn't know how this one had more color in it I'm going to show you how to create this look with your embossing folders and you will love it all right, I'm gonna take an embossing folder. I have a bunch of 3D embossing folders right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this polka dot one. And this is how it looks when it's gone through the embossing folder just plain on this cardstock, this Fresh Frieza cardstock. Let me show you how I actually get all the texture and the depth for that. Okay, first you want to do, and that's why I call it conditioning, it, this on our Stampin' Up! logo, you're going to want to ink the Versamark on that side, and you'll notice this is the actual raised side, and this is the lowered side, so that's where you want your Versamark to go. Now Versamark is like very sticky, and it, you know, goes on just fine, and if you touch it, it's like, oh, that is really sticky. And if you want it, want to get a little bit more, you can, you can just rub it back and forth. Okay. Now it's kind of like, well, you've done that, but now I'm going to actually wipe this off. And you're, you're going to say, why are you wiping it off? You just put it on. Well, this is the part of the conditioning that I like. So it's, I'm just going to wipe it off gently. And then I'm going to feel it. Okay, it's still on there. Let's wipe a little bit more because that might be too much. You don't want to get the Versamark in your stamp pad. So, yep, it's still on there, but enough that the ink is going to stick with the Versamark. So I'm going to take the Fresh Freesia. And again, this is on the Stampin' Up! side where the logo is. And I'm just going to pat it all the way around. And I'm getting the ink actually on the part that I want to be darker. So I've got that all inked up. All right. Now I'm going to take my actual cardstock and I'm going to set it on my folder. Then close it. I'm going to bring my stamp and cut and emboss machine over. And I'm going to go ahead and run this through. Put the embossing folder right there and I'm just going to run this through and I kind of like to run it through twice when I'm doing the actual ink part just because I feel like it gets more into what I'm doing okay look at that look at the difference and how I'm getting that depth on there isn't that cool so let me bring in these again this is the embossing folder with just the ink on it and I didn't condition it. So you can see how the ink does not go all the way in this like it did in this. And that's the look I wanted. So let me show you some other ideas with this embossing folder. This is my finished card right here. I just cut a smaller piece and embossed the happy birthday. So it's just using that texture and I love how it gives the light and dark. Here's some more cards with 3D embossing folders. The fern right here, it's cool. So look, you've got the dark right there. So when I went ahead, I went ahead and used the darker of the greens. And this is that same one. It's like, I didn't get it as dark, but I used the card anyway. But the, you get that conditioning. Okay, here's one that's like a splatter card. And those dark and light, and this is such a cool one. This is called a painted texture. And it's, you know, regular. It just gives you the texture. But look at this, how it gives you such depth with the colors. Isn't that neat that you can get the ink permeating in your cardstock 
by Condition Your Embossing Folder. I love it. If you enjoy these tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe and get our weekly videos. If you like any of these products, click the link below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.